Hello everyone, Tiffany's back, the southern gal herself. Um, I just wanted to kind of walk through some of the things. On the last video, we did um, junk mail to art, okay? So, we left off. You can cut that up. You can do whatever you want to. Well, I've been thinking about other ways and what we could do with the junk mail that we create art out of so one of the things that I come up with that I just wanted to kind of share with you guys is making them into envelopes so with this being a piece of paper any piece of paper you can create an envelope out of um what I've done is on this particular one this is out of a greeting card where is the other part of the greeting card I was going to show y'all I'm not exactly sure right now but it was a greeting card and I painted it because um, in our thrift store here, you can go into the thrift store and typically find bags of cards of all kinds of greeting cards um, for $2.99, $1.99, something like that. So I typically have them um, on hand. And my husband loves to give cards out, but sometimes the sentiment is not exactly what you're looking for or it's not your particular style. And you know what? How many cards do you really need? So what's a girl to do but um, upcycle them and use them for an envelope? So this is one that I have actually just stitched some ledger paper. I can't even talk ledger paper on with the sewing machine did some stitches around it then um i just cut a little bit of the card off so it would give you this lip here and then i sewed this so now what i all i have to do is i stuff the envelope you can kind of see in there where it has um the sentiments and stuff in it so i stuffed the envelope with whatever i want and then i just sew it up here okay so that's one way that you could recycle um and i plan on doing that same thing here with this junk mail and it just happened that that one actually lined up so it would make a good envelope and of course you could cut scallops out of it you could pretty much do whatever you want to do it's an envelope and this one um everybody knows that robin murray is the queen of file folder happy mail envelopes so this is typically what a happy mail file folder envelope looks like okay this is actually some of my overspray and some of my see how my workstation it's about time to change this a lot of times i will take down um these file folders because i also get those at the thrift store um typically I don't know here's some right here I got all of these for a dollar 19 and they may have had those 50% off that day so um, anytime I see those in the thrift store I grab those up because you always can use them in some type of project but for this my thoughts are that every happy meal that you send out you may not need to send out such a substantial package as a file folder so what I did was I actually cut the file folder here's an example here I cut the file folder and made the flap so I trimmed this down again I have painted this I'm gonna sew it just like I did the other one on the sewing machine stuff it and then um, I just did some white acrylic paint here so I can right over this and then put it in the mailbox and i believe if someone got this that it would really make them smile that's the purpose of happy mail is making people smile here's one that i've actually completed and this is the other part of that um file folder that i'm going to i've already got it packaged up for someone special that i'm going to put in the mail but that way you don't have to send a huge package if you really don't need it. But you also have the ability to take and recycle, make something cute out of it. With those two, I still had a little piece um, left. And so I'm probably going to make a bookmark or something out of that. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will look at your junk mail and if you don't want to cut it up into smaller pieces or you don't have any plans for it, think about making an envelope out of it because I think it's a nice size and would be a nice to send a little happy mail to someone or a nice little letter. So thanks guys for tuning in. Um, if you would like to see me do anything particular, just let me know. Thanks.